One of the most pristine settings in all of sports. In the shadows of the San Gabriels, the Rose Bowl. And Big rivalry game right here, dude. It will come along. No matter what the records are. I know UCLA got a shitty ass record right now, but. You know they're going to bring it. All records go out the fucking window, dude, when it comes to the rivalry game. Especially since we're on the road, too, so. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. All right. Sells at Heisman, you know. You know, you know. Jesse Palmer, time to get this game started. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I'm trying to break one of those, man. Before going out of bounds. So USC's offense takes the field for the first time today. The battle for Los Angeles. Two spectacular uniforms. Awesome backdrop and the battle for the victory bell, guys. I was gonna say, Reese, aesthetically, this is one of my favorite games of the year. I love when both schools wear their home unis and they're traditional. They haven't changed very much over the years. This I did not call that. Watch in every Wait, what? For the fans too, because they don't have to okay. Anywhere. And you know what else is always cool? I was very confused right there. What do you get? Great weather too. I mean, it's really, it really makes me jealous every year watching this football. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Dropping back, it's Moss. They'll run the screen. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. And the Trojans in the hurry up. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Like this one, guys. Yeah, that's exactly. beautiful. This is I like that. I like that. Circled this one all off season. All right. Uh, and the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut nice. the crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. What the fuck? Why do these fools struggle by running this fucking screenplay sometimes? It's actually crazy. It'll be third down. The victory bell is not some manufactured concocted trophy, guys. This thing actually used to be on a train. That is so cool. And the origins of the story of all these rivalries and the trophies, Jesse. It's so cool. It's fun to find out about. And these guys out Come on, man, you can hear me. Yeah, it's just really such a point of pride, the victory bell. Not just here in the city of Los Angeles, but to these kids. Just Dude, that whole play was stupid. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to run the right play or not. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's stay aggressive. And so on their opening drive of the game, they want to stay on the field, and the offense will go for it on fourth down. Nice. Skirt. For the first. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. The Trojans are moving quickly down the field. And that is the advantage of having versatility at the running back position, right? It's fourth down. Everyone in the stadium thinks he's going to get the handoff, but because of his Damn. ability to catch the football, he's a weapon in the passing game. And on a critical down distance like that, comes up with a huge first down. To the air, it's Moss. Got his man quickly. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Nice. Come on. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. Quarterback checking the play. He'll come out throwing on first down. Escapes the pressure to his right. Mm, yeah, I could have thrown it to be there. He goes out of bounds after a solid Definitely could have thrown it to him. Operating in the red zone here on second down.
They're not giving me the play. We're gonna have to call timeout. Fuck. <laughs> that fucking home field, bro, is just insane. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get it to that real quick. I didn't want to risk hiking in and then having the wrong fucking play there. I didn't go anywhere with that, bro. Imagine? Boy, they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and short, the power run here. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. And the Trojans. What the fuck? I was going to say, what's my quarterback doing? And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here. Let's go. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. How about the start from this offense? What a drive. Just when they needed a third down conversion, they got it. They put a bunch that of freaking home field, bro. It's just and in the end, it's just wild, dude. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. It's actually just crazy. He'll bring it out. It's I have PTSD from freaking um from Michigan, bro. I get nervous now when I go on the road. Take the field for the first time. I know what a woman he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking this safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Let's see what they've got on second down. Historically, the Trojans have been the powerhouse in this rivalry, but last season it was UCLA in a blowout. And that is not something USC is accustomed to. They want to own this rivalry. They think they own UCLA. They will have some extra fire. Good defense, bro. Yeah, Let's go. UCLA blow last Three now. Come on. Bruins and recruiting too. Remember, these two schools, they recruit the same kids here in Los Angeles, in the state of California, and nationally as well. It would be massive if UCLA could beat USC again and make it back to back. Bringing it back, it's Branch. He only needs. To <laughs> he did a great job finding some running room. Oh boy, was dancing out there, dude. All right, let's see if we can set up the play real quick. The play. Take it down the field for back-to-back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward too to have a lot of bounce. I tried a spin right there, like what? Defense guessing, Paul. Imagine. And you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this. Their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Movement here from the tight end. From the Good blocks. Good blocks. Game. He is like a loose boulder just rolling to the 32. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. They make the stop, and that's how the first. Let's go, goes. man. As we head to the quarter break, it is you. He moving the sticks. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Control that freaking time of possession. Try to get the momentum. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. We're chilling. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. I to the back. Okay. I wanted to pass that, but for some reason he didn't throw it. But that works. If it works, it works. You know. I'm gonna make this counter so obvious right now. Leaves it with the running back. Let's go. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Not sexy. <laughs> but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. The Trojans want to move quickly. 
It's not giving me the play. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. You can't hear yourself think on. I might have the run again, actually. Yep, we got it. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the three, Palmer, I've got the green light. I'm going for this. Yeah, we're going for it. You already know. Essentially running a two-point play here, right? You've got it. Ain't, it ain't like us if we don't go for it, you know. That's the play you dial up. This is tough, actually. Oh, come on. Calm the crown, calm the uh, the crowd down a little bit, you know. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Shave some more clock. After scoring the touchdown. He'll return it. All right, they're gonna come out swinging this one, I bet. So we gotta make sure. UCLA offense. Make sure we get right, you know? To go to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop. Or who knows? Better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Now on first and ten from the 29. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions. Oh, come on. Here we go. Damn. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. What's the run? Looking to throw. It's Garbers. Shit. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage. Fucking battle the no huddle offenses, man. And the Bruins are moving quickly down the field. I like playing against these kind of teams, dude. I got the no huddle. The right side it's hella toxic, but I like it. <laughs> he will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Bruins playing against it and doing it is just super toxic, but it is what it is. Yeah, guys like Jonathan Franklin. And listen, you can always find... Give me that. Uh-huh. 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 Skirt. And they capitalized not only Let's go, on dude. But on the great return to improve this All right. Position. Defense is looking good right now. Hopefully they can keep it up. And guys, USC I mean, sure, they were looking good last game, too. Until the second half, they and fucking... They fucking started going kind of soft, but quarterback has been dialed in. Oh, I like it. He's been Ugh. so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up. And that's a live ball. What the? What the fuck was that? Okay, I, I, I wasn't paying attention to what happened. I was trying to throw it to my guy right there. Wait, what? Oh, he fucked up the snap. Wait, what the hell is this? Hello? Yo, pause right there. I'm like, what you doing, my boy? What? And then I start... <laughs> and then I start jumping around. I was trying to pass it to Y, dude. Oh my god, man. Like seriously, are we the number one team in the nation, or Second down after what's going on here? He's looking to throw. Yeah. Skirt. I like it. Oh, that was a beautiful first down, dude. That was such a beautiful first down. I love it. 
and they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers. Oh, I was trying to go out there. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. And the Trojans are in the hurry up. Let's try that play again. This is what I was trying to do. Changing the plays at the line. Back no, I fucked up. Wait, he caught that? Wait, what? Immediately short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Well, that's one the DB I think. Was How was? Wait, what? Yeah, why did the play stop? I could have. I could have kept going. Out of his break a little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. You're tripping if you think we're not going for it. There the D finally stops him short of the marker. You're tripping. Into the field goal team, they'll go for it on fourth and short from the 28. Uh huh. We stay going for this. Tackle is made, but right. not until he gets the first down. The offense calls. Uh, let's hit him with the play. Use this half. Well, the offense at this point is just doing everything. This might be busted. Football back to their opponent. Even though they're up in this game, they're still going for it on fourth down. That now the third different fourth down they've converted in this game. I think I could have. Damn it. I think I could have actually passed that. Brings up second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Oh, I know you hear me. Come on, man. Come on, man. I need you for this play. There you go. Uh, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I'll take that right there. Fuck. I'm blind. Alright. Uh... Yeah, no shit, right? <clears throat> Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. God damn it, bro. I was hoping he was gonna like kind of throw that a bit more head, you know? Third in Africa is extremely difficult. When I know it's a passing situation, I get to rush the passer and thin my ears back. I get to put more DBs on the field to drop back and really play pass coverage. You can tell the offense was trying to force it, trying to get that first down, makes the big mistake. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And My eyes, some. I can't call a timeout. Oh, no, I'm on the timeout. So never ah, damn it. That's a good kick. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. So as it turns out, a two-play drive results in a field goal. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. They make this All right, let's not play stupid, man. Priority one, you don't want some big return to give up a cheap touchdown on the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. The Trojans will kick it off to start the second half. Fielded in the end zone. It's Gilmore. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special oh. and some energy, but it's... D-line's playing pretty good right now. Executing at a high level. I like it. The Bruins want to crank the tempo. Back to throw, it's Garbers. 
Oh, I'm so lucky he didn't catch that. Actually, very lucky, dude. You gotta wonder if this offense is gonna go for it here. They're trailing now by a lot. I know there's a lot of football still to go, and I know they're on their own end of the field, but just kind of get the feeling their defense hasn't gotten a ton of stops. They may need to stay out there, and they're gonna need this quarterback to make a play. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. To the oh, oh, oh. A strong I was hoping he was going to hang on to that block a bit longer. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. The receivers often will run their route based on the side adjustment. That was busted. Yeah. Oh, some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Uh, let's see if we get a screen right here. Here they come. Somebody else breaks out, then we can throw it to them. Wants to go up top. A little screen to the running back. What's the fucking whistles going off right now? That shit was going off like mid play. I thought they freaking stopped it or something. the quarterback did a really good job of selling pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush getting it to the running back I like it do the rest you got him in space I like it put up yards in a hurry. he's run out of bounds but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down and the Trojans are rolling down the field from the gun the ground oh, I got stuck come on man they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Here it is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Mm. I don't think this is a good idea. On third down, he drops to throw. Let's go. Finds his big tight end. I was gonna run it, man, but <laughs> wasn't looking right. Completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be going into zone coverage, Skirt. you've got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last What's second. Play? Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then oh. throw the ball the only into game the I can of the field, oh, anticipating where your guy's going to be. <laughs> only one I can stream. That's weird. That's the only one you can play without They're it lagging. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, if you want, you could take the. Cause I'm playing on the Xbox right now. Take the thingy here. I'm not even a freaking Discord or anything. Oh, I'm Discord. I think I was in Discord. Never mind. Right here, you can take. It. You have to kind of here. You have to. Grab it from here. All right. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the run, it's I like Jackson. it. I like it. 
He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. I can't motion him. They'll try to power their way ahead. Ah, come on, man. That was a tough decision right here, actually. Um, well, after the tackle now, that sets up fourth and two. And these offenses, they practice for these types of situations. It's not like they just... That was a really tough... Um, for fourth and inches. They've got play tough play choice play here. Play, so it'll be interesting to see if this offense wants to roll the dice. Yeah, and most of the time, I'm rolling the dice. I I'm going to be aggressive. And as a defense, you also know that, too. This is so and busted right here. I don't know. Off guard by offenses nowadays going forward on fourth down. Yep. That's busted. No, it's not. Ooh, I got lucky, dude, honestly. Dance on it. Uh, uh. <laughs> I should have got... Yeah, that should have not been a... That should not have been a touchdown. I got lucky. So much tradition, so much history, but they start every season. Jesse, they want this one. They want to make sure they beat their rival in LA. Yeah, you could tell too. Last thing I want to do after 12 plays is settle for a fucking field goal, bro. It don't sit right with me. They had to have energy. They had to execute. And right now, they're getting ready to chant fight on at the end of this game. He'll start the return inside his five. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping. Ain't already damn still number two. Sick. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Back to pass, it's Garvers. The throw to the outside is complete. Moves it out to the 34-yard <clears throat> line, a nice 15-yard gain on that one. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. Here's the deal, you're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're gonna come back and win, but we've seen crazy no way. happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. Mm. Let's try cover one. On second down, wants to throw. I seen it too. I seen it. Couldn't get there in time. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Slants against man. That wide receiver has to win right now. Right. Uh, like wide open over there. DB playing man coverage. Quarterback. So lucky they ran that. Wide receiver put it on the money. Wide receiver probably still gonna get hit too. We gotta hold on to that. Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. <clears throat> and the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. DB's right up on the receivers. He's going to pass. Working the what the fuck? Get that shit out of here, dude. Inside the 30 the they really just, like, hopped over me. The Bruins come to the line. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Gilbert. Those are getting smacked, dude. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit. Uh, down. And the Bruins shit. have taken it inside the 20. No, 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 no. Switch back. There you go. They want to just keep throwing it. Got his man in the middle. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to Oh my god, damn it. Grab in the end zone. Touchdown Bruins. That was a tough drive, man. Sheesh. They'll try to attack and do shit. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. That did not feel like nine plays. Felt like way less than that. I'm going to get ripped right now. Oh. 
not there in Columbia, one of the most special. All right, so they know the run is coming. I should probably sub this dude. Oh, he looks like he's about to fucking have a heat stroke out there. Where the fuck's man? There you go, the truck. Yeah, Joiner's going through it right now. Let's put this dude in. Actually, let's just keep him out right now. Hopefully, these guys can hang on to the ball. How many times they got? They got all three. Shit. Where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one, Kevin. Let us know when it goes final. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Trojans will hustle to the line. Got some time. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the Got some time. Get some time. Trying to bleed the clock, they're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. <laughs> Snap it like at the three right now. Looking for room, it's Peterson. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to Sol. Um. Shit. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. Quarterback will audible. To the air, it's Moss. He's got the tight end. Why is the whistle? Do you hear that again, huh? They keep randomly blowing the whistles like mid play, thinking like the. I'm like. It's like confusing me. Because I keep thinking the freaking play is dead. Going for it. Limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. You know how we do? Oh shit. And the Trojans get it past the stick. Oh, I thought I didn't get it, bro. Oh shit. That was scary. Okay. Let's get under center, bro. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and ten. They'll try the run. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Now on second down, and we'll probably see another run, and that might do it if they can get a first down. Hand off to the single back. Mm -hmm. Tackle is made after the first down. The defense is backed up as the offense is in the red zone. That's tough, man. These road games, dude. That's really tough. They'll give it to the back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football. And run I mean, we're going to come away with the win here, but... That shit was tough. Takes the handoff. It's Peterson. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. The Trojans trying to cash it in on first and goal. Wide out in motion. They'll run it. Get in there. Let's go. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Trojans. GG. That's what finishing the deal looks like. Build the lead in the fourth quarter and close in on 11 straight victories. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. And what can you say about the Who would have thought that freaking the way we started the season? <laughs> I mean, as the season progressed too, man, our fucking defense just never looked too great. We were able to do shit on offense, but it was just our defense. I mean, our defense still doesn't look the greatest, but we're undefeated. We're number one. Back on the field, ready to go to work. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some. Next game's gonna be tough, though. That's gonna be such a good game. You know, USC, Notre Dame. Look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football, little things. It's unfortunate they're not undefeated, but 
They're still number two, assuming they haven't they didn't lose a gun. Hopefully they didn't. After this performance, you've got to lock in, you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find <sighs> the positives that you can build off, David. You're talking about. We're playing at home for that one, too. So, we got some recruits coming for that game. Back to throw, it's Garbers. He looks that one in nicely. He'll get it up to about the 32 yard line before he stops, and it'll be first down. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. And this senior quarterback knows he had a chance that time and just I'm like super sluggish right now, too, because I'm like in a food coma at the moment. <laughs> I have like no energy. <laughs> I'm surprised we still played pretty good. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. That's why they find themselves. I'm so ass. I'm so ass. Sheesh. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42 yard line. Clock is still running and they have to get everybody. Ooh, oh, man. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. I'd go for a fucking nap, dude. Doesn't help that, uh, this weather. And here comes Since it's so fucking hot, that down. just makes me even more sleepy. You know? He's looking to throw. I suck. Jesus Christ. And a nice touchdown. Continuing to fight. Continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight. Push the ball down the field. Make play. Take a fat ass miracle. They would have to get the the onside kick and turn it, take it to the house, and then get another onside kick. Well, we might take this into the house. No, we're not. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go home, dude. Let's let's uh. Let's put that in boy. V formation right here. TG. Up next, Notre Dame, man. Hopefully, they lose their game and they're still number two. So. Each side hates oh, man. Breath, the other one sucks into their greedy I'll probably play that one a little bit later on tonight or probably wait till tomorrow. I'm just in a fat food coma at the moment. To, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media, it's a lot of fun. I think fans <sighs> anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games starred. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did, and we saw some great individual efforts. Boys held it down, though, man. It was so cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest. Why are they still clapping this shit? You guys just lost. They're probably clapping for me. So much. This was a fun one to call. That's gonna do it. What's that's looking like, man? David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Blue for 14. Russian game was art, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good.